Hello guys, uh, Dan here. Today I'm going to continue painting my crimson stone box, uh, but this time I'm going to paint uh, rockets for Ariadna. Uh, this is going to be a very simple uh, paint job, so it will be mostly oriented uh, to the beginners, so we won't do any advanced techniques. Uh, I'm going to paint like by the numbers, I'm going to put the base colors, wash the miniatures and do the highlights. So I'm going to explain this very slowly to you guys so you can get a uh, hang to it if you are start uh, painting this box. So without uh, further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the rest of the video. Before putting uh, base colors, I prime the models uh, with the black primer. Uh, you can do this with the spray or the airbrush, whatever you have on your hand. Uh, just be thorough and uh, make sure that uh, the paint is equal all around. Now I will put a base green color on the boots and the pants. I will use the same color for this, so it will be Luftwaffe camo green and I will apply this in uh, two very thin coats. So I'm going to wait for the first coat to completely dry and then I will go around uh, with the second pass and uh, apply it uh, until I'm satisfied that I cannot see any black under it. After that I'm going to pick up a neutral grey and I'm going to paint uh, his uh, shirt uh, with this color. Uh, I will also apply it in uh, two very thin coats so that I cannot see any black under this color. Also, I need to mention that every time I'm using these paints, I'm putting them on my wet palette and I always add uh, one drop of water to the paint, so as you can see it flows much better from my brush. Now we move for the next color, this will be a dark brush and blue and I'm going to use it uh, to paint these dark blue details, uh, there is a couple of them on his uh, shoulders and uh, straps uh, uh, that are holding his armor plates. Try to be as neat as possible, but if you make any mistakes, uh, just go back to the previous color and repaint the spots. The next color that we need to apply will be a deck 10, and I'm going to use uh, this color to paint the armor plates uh, on his chest. So the trick here is that we want the armor plates to be white, uh, but to be able to paint white we have to start with the bright grey so that we achieve the white effect later through the highlights. So apply this in a two or three very thin coats until you are satisfied and you have the equal color all around so you don't see any black or the shadows under it. Then I will move on and paint his boots. I use a cavalry brown because I wanted like uh, some brown details on the boots. This is up to you, you can use a bright a brown or a darker brown and then uh, for the rest of the leather pouches and the straps uh, that these models have I will use a chocolate brown so I will go around and just uh, paint them uh, very thoroughly uh, with this color so make sure that you go inside the recesses and inside of the hidden areas. Uh, you will have to apply this in uh, two coats uh, because after first coat you won't have that good coverage so second one will be needed to have a good uh, volume of this color. Uh, for the face I'm going to use uh, Bagman's glove. This is a citadel color. Uh, same as with the Vallejo colors, I will put it on a wet palette and added one or two drops of water so they're not that thick. And then uh, I will paint the whole face uh, uh, with uh, two or three uh, very thin coats uh, so that I have a uh, good uh, coverage there. As you can see, we are now done with our base colors for the model. So now we have some base to work on. So first thing that we're going to do is to apply some shadows. Uh, for the green pants, I will use a Tonian Camo shade. Uh, this is a wash uh, from the Citadel paints. Uh, so you're just going to use it straight from the pot and you're going to apply it uh, on the whole areas that are green on this model. So just wash uh, the whole pants with it. If you go over the brown parts, uh, 
it's okay, but try to avoid it. Uh, for the face, I'm going to use uh, Gilliman Flash, which is a contrast paint, uh, but I'm going to apply it in the same manner as the wash. So I will use it straight from the pot and I will just apply it on the whole surface of the face. For the rest of the model, I'm going to use a Noon Oil and I'm going to wash that's everything that's left that is not uh, washed with the previous colors. Uh, only thing that uh, I would like to advise you is to not allow uh, paint to pull on the areas where you don't want uh, to have like a dark spots. Like usually that's on the armor panels on the chest uh, or on his sleeves. Whenever you see that the wash is pulled, just clear the excess and then leave the model to dry properly. For me, it took like 30 minutes, maybe even 45 minutes until the wash was completely dried before I could proceed uh, to start highlighting it. I will start first with highlighting the pants and I decided that my pants are gonna be a brighter green than the boots. So for this I pick up a uniform green and I start uh, repainting the pants. Uh, but this time I'm not uh, going inside the recesses. So I'll be mostly focused on the surfaced uh, areas and the folds. And uh, whenever I see a recess, I won't go too deep inside, I wanna leave it as it is. Uh, as you can see, I will show you here how I did the uh, highlights on the pants quickly. Then uh, I'm going to mix a little of sunny skin tone, it's like 60-40 mix, uh, to get my first highlight. And I'm going to start highlighting only the folds and only the raised areas uh, of the pants. So you will leave the previous layers intact uh, and you will leave the recesses intact, so you won't uh, do anything. So we need to focus in this step only doing the lights uh, and the highlights uh, on this model. As you can see, I change the brush to a um, very small brush. This is uh, size zero and you can pick up even double zero if you are comfortable with that. So now I'm going to highlight the rest of the boots and the knee pads. So for this I'm going to use a base color that I applied in the first step which is a Luftwaffe camo green. And I'm just going back uh, to the boots and the knee pads on the areas that the wash make them uh, too dark or too black uh, or you, you can see the stains. And I'm just going lightly to repaint those areas just to return them to the natural uh, tone of this color. And the same as in previous step, we will use the sunny skin tone again to make our highlight color. Uh, so I'm going to mix a little of it into the previous uh, green. And uh, the same thing applies in the previous step. I'm going to highlight only folds. And uh, on these uh, sharper edges, I'm going to use edge highlights. So I'm just going to draw uh, very thin lines around the boots and uh, on the edges of those knee pads. And that will be enough work for his legs. So let's move now to the shirt and the cap. So I'm going to use a neutral gray and uh, I'm going to go back and I'm going to repaint all the gray areas uh, because the wash made them too dark. Uh, but I will still use the wash and leave the shadows intact. So you won't uh, paint the recesses with this color, so you will go only on the surfaces that are mostly exposed to the light and the uh, areas that are on top. Now I'm going to mix a little of white uh, into this color and uh, start uh, doing the highlights. So same as in previous step, uh, you are going to do edge highlight uh, whenever that is possible. Uh, when there is uh, no edges, uh, like on the sleeves, you will highlight the top of the folds. Uh, this highlight can be a little thicker highlight and cover little larger areas, but don't go inside the recesses. And then for the final highlight, uh, I'm going to use a pure white and now I will highlight even smaller areas that I highlighted in the, in the previous step. So I will go over those areas that I did in the previous step, but I will highlight them much less. So on the folds you will do uh, thinner lines and on the edges you will do much smaller lines than you did in the previous uh, step. <music> Uh, 
Uh, we are now going to move on uh, on the blue panels. So for this I'm going to use a flat blue and I'm just going to repaint them uh, with this color. Uh, same as before, I will leave uh, all the recesses intact so that I have my shadows there. And uh, after I'm done with this step, I'm going to add a very little of uh, white into this color so that uh, it uh, makes my highlight color and then I'm going to do a very little highlight. It is just uh, on the edges uh, and on the corners. Now we're going to start working on our chest plate. As you can see the wash uh, made them uh, really darker and uh, stained. So to fix that uh, I'm going to use a uh, deck 10 and I'm going uh, slowly to start applying it uh, in very thin coats a few times until uh, I'm satisfied uh, that they really look like much brighter. Uh, so here you have to be very careful not to go inside the recesses or not to go inside the bolts uh, because you want your shadows to remain there and it will be tricky to fix it later. Now I'm going to add a little of white to the deck then and I'm going to repaint like uh, upper half of the plates and then I'm going to add a little more white and then apply like upper third of the plates and uh, for the last step I'm going to use a uh, pure white and uh, just uh, highlight the edges of those plates. Uh, for rest of the leather pouches I'm going to use a dark sand and I'm going to create the worn leather effect. Uh, that means that uh, I will just uh, use a stippling technique. Uh, so you will use the tip of your brush and uh, just start uh, touching the edges and the areas uh, that are on top. Uh, you are going to draw uh, small lines uh, or uh, small dots so it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to use paint uh, called smoke, uh, but I will make a wash out of it. So I think uh, I use like four drops of water and only one drop of this paint. So I make it really translucent. And then I went uh, over these leather pouches and just uh, cover them uh, with uh, one layer uh, of this uh, wash. Or I can even call it glaze at this stage. For the boots I went back to Cavalry Brown and I just went and quickly fixed uh, some areas that they got uh, stained by the wash or some mistakes that I made uh, before when I was painting green so I just fixed uh, those lines. Now I'm going to start working on the panels that are black and on his uh, shotgun. So I will start uh, with the neutral gray and I'm going to apply edge highlight on every single sharp edge that I can see or every little line on his weapon. Uh, these lines doesn't need to be uh, super thin, uh, but you want to be uh, tidy and uh, precise here. Uh, it is a, a little time consuming process, but uh, more of these lines that you outline and uh, trace, uh, everything will look uh, much better. So just be patient, uh, pick up one of your smallest brushes and just go around the model and highlight uh, all of these uh, lines and edges. And uh, for the final highlight you're going to pick up a pure white and you're going to repeat the same process. Uh, so you're going to go back and trace uh, all those lines again, uh, but this time you want to make them really thin. So in this step uh, they have to be a thinner than a previous line so that you can actually see the gradient uh, from the black to the neutral gray and then to the white on the top. One of the last details that we have to work on is the face. So I'm going to pick up first uh, KDM Flashtone and I'm going to repaint uh, 
like 90% of the area on the face. I will just uh, leave a few recesses around the eyes, around the cheeks uh, and the lips, uh, behind the ears and around the neck uh, with the previous color. But mostly everything else is going to be paint uh, with this paint. And then for the final highlight I'm going to pick up a Kisla Flash and this time I'm going to get focused only on the most raised uh, parts of the face. So you will highlight uh, tip of the nose, lips, uh, tip of the ears, uh, tip of the cheek, uh, forehead and a small uh, area around the neck and the jaw. I'm going now to show you one very easy trick how to paint eyes on the miniatures. So you're going to pick up uh, first the white and then you're going to paint the whole eye socket uh, inside uh, with this uh, paint. Uh, so just be careful not to go on the face but uh, be focused uh, on the inside of the eye socket. Then you're going to pick up some of your dark washes, in this case I pick up a noon oil and you're going to apply a very small wash inside the whole eye socket. As you can see here I put too much but then I clear the ex excess so that I have a little. And the last step is to pick up a black and make uh, one little black line or a little black dot in the middle of the eye. So you can uh, put both of your elbows on the table and make your hands really stable and just do these uh, dots. There is one last thing that needs to be done and that is the Ariadna sign on the plate on his shoulder. I pick up Evie Sun Scarlet and one of my very small brushes and I just draw uh, this symbol. Uh, you can practice this on a piece of paper before and uh, just uh, do the final one uh, on the model. If you're not really confident of course you can always uh, skip this part or uh, draw something else. In case you make a mistake, just pick up a flat blue and do the little repair. And guys, uh, this is it. Uh, I will call this model done. I will transfer him to one of the 3D printed bases that my friend printed for me. And guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot to me and it will actually help this uh, channel grow. If you have any comments and suggestions or what would you like to see me painting next uh, from the Operation Crimson Stone or any other miniature? Please let me know in the comment section down below and I will try to do my best. This will be all for now. Stay safe, take care and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.